Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with a tutorial. This tutorial was uh, requested, I just wanna point that out. Um, I had created these treat box um, carriers using the treat carrier die by We Are Memory Keepers. I shared these in my craft fair video. I'm gonna be selling these in my craft fair this year. And several of you had informed me that the die was no longer available or had been discontinued or sold out and asked if I could show you how to create it without using a die. So this is how, what this video is all about today creating this cute little treat um, coffee cup, uh, treat uh, cup holder without using a die. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in and get started. Um, it's really, really easy to do. I wanna show you what the original dies look like cut out. Let's see if I can find it. Um, so this is the original one cut from the die, and as you can see, it has a circle right there. And what I did for mine was I decided to use a die. If you don't have a oval die, you can use an oval punch or whatever you have in your stash, you can get creative. Um, that's what I did. And then this is the original one from the die. It is perforated, so it's just easy to fold on the score lines and it already has all the cuts out for you, but I'm gonna show you or share with you the measurements on how to uh, create that as well. All right, so we're gonna start with the base and the base measures eight and one fourth by two and five eighth inches long. So go ahead and cut your papers at eight and one eighths by two and five eighths. And then what you're gonna do next is you're going to place it on your scoreboard and you're gonna score at two and three fourths inches. So you make your score line right there and then you run your die or your punch right here to create the oval and that is how you create the base, super simple. All right, next we're gonna create the bottom portion and that measures eight and seven eighths by two and one fourth inches. So that's what you're gonna cut your paper out at. And then what you're gonna do on the eight and seven eighth inch side, you're gonna make some score lines. So the first score line is going to be at a half an inch. So you're gonna score half an inch. The next score line is three and one eighths. So make another score line. Next is five and five eighths, score. And then the final score line is eight and three eighths. And you're gonna make that score right there. Now, after you do that, um, go ahead and add your adhesive. I use some double-sided sticky tape that I think I picked up from Tuesday morning. You have red line tape, ETG gun, even um, wet glue will definitely work. All right, so that's what you're gonna do on the outside of the score lines. And then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna miter the corners. So you're gonna kind of make it like a little L shape um, on this side right here. And it'll look like that. And then you're gonna make two little cuts that look like a Christmas tree up to the score line. And it'll look like this when you take it out. You're gonna do this one right here, same thing. Super simple. Another little Christmas tree, pop that out. And then you're gonna do your kind of like a slight slant, like an L. Add a diagonal, looks like that. All right, so then you're gonna go ahead and crease your score lines. So they look like this. And then you're gonna take the base that you've already cut out and you're going to attach it to the base, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take off my sticky tape. And I'll just go ahead and take all of it off so we can assemble it pretty quick. Super simple. It is a rainy day in Georgia today. Oh my goodness, the rain is coming down. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> all right, so what I do is you can just turn this over, lay it flat, and then position your uh, base to the flap. Just kind of center it up and press down. And then take the corner and just fold it up. Just make sure you have it even. And then you're gonna press, come on this side and do the same thing. Make sure it's evenly lined up with your score lines. Go ahead and 
press. Oops, that's not lined up, lining up perfectly for some reason. All right. So we're going to press, and then you're going to take it like this, fold these in, and then just line it up carefully like so, and make sure that it's adhered. Same thing to this side. Press, and now you have your little treat box. Super cute, right? And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need the insert. So on the inside of this, it has um, a little base so that your cup can sit inside and it also gives it a little bit of height. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now is we're going to create that little um, piece right there and that is also super simple to create. So uh, let's get that. And what you're going to need is a paper measuring four and five eighths by four and a half. And you're going to score at one inch on all sides. So as you can see, I've got a score line right here at one inch. Turn your paper, score again at one inch. Turn, rotate, score at one, one inch. And you do that at all sides. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take about a two inch circle punch, or not a punch, but a die. I did a die and I used my nesting set from Diamond Dies and it measured about two and one eighth. I measured the die in case you're wondering, but that seemed to be the right size for the coffee cup. And so after you do that, you're gonna take your scissors and I've already cut the lines on this side, but you're just gonna cut straight up right here on that score line and cut straight up on this score line, which is already done. And then I'm gonna turn it to this side and on this score line, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to cut straight up with my scissors. And again, cut straight up with my scissors. And then we're going to fold on all the score lines, like so. And this is going to create the little base for the cup. And if you have a bone folder, you can use that and get you a really nice crease. Again, you're going to fold on all the score lines. I hope I'm on frame. <laughs> okay, so then what we're going to do next is we're just going to take some sticky tape and apply it to the corners. And that will adhere all four corners. I need some sticky tape. I think it's sticking. There we go. And then you're just going to fold this up to create your little box. Take the next corner again, fold it. Oops, I gotta make sure you do all the creasing to create a nice box. So you see how it's coming together. And then you're going to take this side right here, and again, just go up like so. And then the last one. like that and now you have your little base for your cup and you're going to stick it in your little treat carrier box right here you just kind of squish it in and it will slide in really nicely and you don't have to push it all the way down you can push it to about wherever you want it to go you just want to make sure it gives your cup some height when you stick it in there and that is it super super simple the last thing that I would do um, that you might want to um, do is create a belly band. See how I created that really pretty gl glitter uh, belly band? Uh, that, I believe, where is my little sheet? I have it somewhere. Oh, here it is. So if you want to create the belly band, it's one inch by six inches. That's what you're going to cut your paper at. And then you're just going to wrap it around your treat carrier like so. And then you would just glue it on the back. And there you have it. You have your super cute little treat cup uh, carrier, coffee carrier without using a die. I hope this tutorial was simple and that it was easy to follow. Check the description box below. I'll leave the measurements in the description box. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'll leave a comment and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.